Besides sleeping and reproducing, adult predators usually hunt because it's the only way for them to survive. Like humans, they need to eat. But instead of going to the grocery store, they must catch their own food. Or else they will starve. If you want to see what it looks like, we have it all. So let's get started. Number 15, Lion Hunt Buffalo. In this amazing wildlife video from Kruger National Park, a lioness can be seen hunting a buffalo as the big cat leaps into the Sabi River to catch her prey. This is one of the most dangerous yet successful hunting strategies the feline could use, but it paid off. The Cape Buffalo in this video is aggressive and he's giving this male lion and his girlfriend a run for their money, but when the big cats decide it's time to end the shenanigans, they go for the kill and nothing stops them. Wildlife enthusiasts recently went on a trip to Juma in the Sabi Sand. It was their first drive and they were all extremely excited. It was late afternoon and the sun was in perfect position. They rounded the corner to find four massive male lions walking down the road, so they followed them to a waterhole close by where they stopped to have a drink and rest. Not long after, they noticed a big group of buffaloes coming from about 300 meters away. The lions immediately took up their positions and everyone knew something was about to happen. The lions went to work and took one of the buffaloes down before digging into their unexpected meal. Number 14, Wild Dog Hunts Elland. The Elland is the largest antelope in Africa and is a formidable prey animal. In this video, the wild dogs failed during their first attempt because they tried taking down a larger adult, but they succeeded the second time around because the victim was a younger calf. In this video, a pack of wild dogs has taken down a 1,000 pound Elland in a rare wildlife encounter recorded by wildlife enthusiasts. The dogs can be seen digging into the animals behind and entrails while it's still alive. After several wild dogs kill a small Ellen calf, mom arrives and confronts the dogs. The Ellen is monstrous next to the dogs, so I don't think she's in danger of being attacked when she decides to sniff her little guy to mourn his death. The dogs are cautious and keep their distance, and it almost feels like they are letting mom mourn the death of her calf as they walk away and respect her last moments with her loved one. Number 13, Jackal Hunts Kudu. In this video, three jackals try to take down a young kudu, but kudus are large antelopes, so even a young kudu will give jackals trouble, and you can see what I mean in the video, but the three amigos managed to get the job done after all. Some wildlife enthusiasts were visiting Otto National Park when they stumbled upon this rare sighting of a jackal attacking a kudu calf. The kudu managed to free itself a couple of times, but the numerous efforts of the jackal was one too many. The herd was standing by, but made no effort to save the youngster. As the jackal killed the kudu, a brown hyena appeared out of nowhere and stole the prey from the much determined jackal. This extraordinary account of events happened in broad daylight and the onlookers managed to capture it on video. Jackals are opportunistic animals and will often hunt young antelope calves when they have the chance and they're usually successful. When they do manage to kill a calf, they must eat it in a hurry, fearing the arrival of other predators that usually steal their kill. In this video, a lone jackal can be seen ripping flesh out of this Ellen's behind. The Ellen is big, but it didn't stop this small jackal from getting things done. Number 12, Hyena Hunts Wildebeest. Hyenas are unquestionably one of the world's most reveled natural predators. They're frequently portrayed as scavengers, the bullies of the African plains, laughing as they gang up to steal hard-earned meals from their more majestic competitors, but hyenas are also excellent hunters. Indeed, most of the prey they consume is the result of their own hunting efforts. They will scavenge or steal prey from another carnivore if given the opportunity, but so would any other carnivore. In this video, you can see how a single hyena tries to take down a wildebeest and the wildebeest is so strong, it's able to pull the hyena across the ground while the scavenger latches onto the animal with its mouth. Even when a second hyena arrives to help, the wildebeest pulls both hyenas onto the road in front of stunned onlookers. 
even while these hyenas are ripping out this wildebeest insides, the animal tries to get up to escape, but how can he even walk when he's missing some body parts? I guess this is why the hyenas have an easy time holding him back while they're eating him alive. These spotted hyenas belong to one of the study clans that the MSU Hyena Project in the Maasai Mara Reserve monitors year-round since 1989. They could be seen feasting on a wildebeest while the animal is still alive, but that's the way the hyenas roll. Surprisingly enough, the wildebeest manages to get up at some point and tries to escape, but the hyenas just keeping eating it even while it's standing. A single spotted hyena takes down a full-grown wildebeest bull and starts to feed. The hyena uses the typical takedown technique of immobilizing the prey by tearing into the soft areas of the groin, then starting to feed as the animal helplessly watches. Many people dislike hyenas as they think they are purely scavengers that take food from other animals. Many people know that they do take their own prey but still dislike them due to their technique. They are not equipped with the tools that big cats have but still manage to efficiently feed themselves. Number 11. Leopard Hunts Warthog The leopard was tracking the scent of this warthog when he eventually found the den site for the warthog and waited a few seconds for the hog to shoot out of the den. Once the two animals engaged, it was a fight to the death, and the warthog gave the big cat a fight to remember, even though in the end, it perished. When leopards take on warthogs, the battle is always thrilling. This encounter was no different with a big male leopard having successfully caught a big warthog. The winner is never guaranteed in these fights, but this leopard had a good hold, and despite a great effort by the warthog, it eventually succumbed. Many leopards have been discovered with severe gashes from warthogs and only the larger male leopards will attempt to attack an adult warthog due to the dangers involved. Warthogs are tough animals that aren't easy to kill, but as you can see in this video, it doesn't bother the leopard in the least. The leopard puts his life on the line for the sake of a warthog feast. The leopard and the warthog become mortal enemies as each animal tries to safeguard its own life. Warthogs have been known to kill leopards in similar situations, and giant male leopards often trap larger warthogs. Leopard-warthog engagements are always thrilling to watch. In this fight, a huge male leopard stalks and leaps into the brush to attack an unsuspecting warthog. The attack is surgical, and the leopard is successful. Number 10. Cheetah and Leopard Hunts Bird Leopards are skilled hunters, so it's no surprise they can also hunt birds and be successful. In our thumbnail, a leopard can be seen with a dead bird in its mouth. After a successful hunt, these cranes seem to be enjoying themselves dancing and hopping around like real party animals until a leopard comes running out of the bush, leaping into the air to grab one of the partying birds. The birds scram and the party is over. After hunting and killing a stork, this leopard took the bird up to its favorite hiding place, high up in a tree, where no other predators or scavengers could bother the big cat while it was enjoying its meal. 30 feet up in a tree, a group of owls is not expecting this four-legged predator to come calling. The lesson here, never underestimate a leopard's speed and agility, especially when the action takes place in a tree. Number nine, baboon attacks gazelle. This baboon is trying to kill a small gazelle, but when mom comes running, the baboons disperse. Another baboon snatches the little gazelle and runs away with it. Mom runs after the baboon, and he drops the baby once again. One of the baboons eventually takes the baby up into a tree and finishes it off. This baboon is destroying this poor baby gazelle, but it is still alive. I can't believe the Impala is still alive and moving as a baboon shreds the Impala to pieces. The other baboon sitting next to the perpetrator goes about his business as if everything was normal. Baboons are omnivorous, which means mixed feeders, so they will eat plants and meat, and on occasions during their foraging, if they get an opportunity, they can hunt baby medium-sized antelopes like impalas or gazelles, like what happens in this video. Onlookers saw this baboon stealing this baby gazelle from her mother in the distance, and just like that, he got his prize, a whole baby gazelle to himself. Number 8. Komodo Hunts Goat The Komodo attacked this limping goat while resting and immediately tried to swallow the goat alive. The Komodo dragon is the largest lizard and has a unique way of eating as it always tries to swallow its prey whole. It also has deadly bacteria in its saliva, so the second its tongue makes contact with potential prey, 
the targeted animal is pretty much doomed. In the Komodo dragon community, goats are frequently caught by Komodo dragons, just like the goat in this video, since the Komodo dragons and indigenous goats roam freely and without any fencing constraints. The goat in this video has already been infected by this dragon, so it's still alive, but it can't move. It's an easy meal for the dragon, but then again, what meal isn't? Number 7. Cheetah Hunts Topi In this video, a cheetah mother and her son join forces as they hunt down a topi in the open field. The topi is one of, if not the fastest antelope in the bush, but it's still no match for the fastest land animal in the world, the fantastic cheetah. The topi is taken down and killed by the dynamic duo. This sighting happened in the Maasai Mara when the famous Five Musketeers took down a topi mother which had just given birth. The topi saw the cheetahs and took off but then slowed down probably to distract the cheetahs from her calf, but it was just slow enough for the cheetahs to accelerate and catch her with relative ease. Five cheetahs are on the chase after a fast topi. They eventually managed to stop the animal dead in his tracks, but taking it down was another story as the topi wasn't going down without a fight. The cats pulled on the animal with all their might and yet the topi resisted, even though I seriously think the animal would become exhausted and eventually crumble. The animal had five cheetahs on his back and was still standing, which is unbelievable. Of course, cheetahs are not lions, but we're talking about five animals that can weigh up to 140 pounds each. Number 6. Fox Hunts Rabbit This rural fox ambushes a bunny rabbit and kills it. After shaking the rabbit and dropping it on the ground, the fox finally makes up his mind and runs with the rabbit to a more discreet place so he can enjoy his meal. This is one big bunny, but it didn't stop this fox from attacking and killing it. The rabbit is huge, so it should fill up this fox's tummy for quite a while. This fox carries a rabbit to its den after an easy kill. This happened in a residential neighborhood and the fox is going along its merry way as if it was normal to see a fox carrying a dead rabbit in the middle of the day across an entire neighborhood. Number 5. Lynx and Bobcat Hunts Deer Look at how this small Canadian lynx jumps on a deer's face. The deer is much larger than the lynx, but the lynx attacks the deer's face strategically. I'm not sure how this will end, but if the deer manages to free itself, it will have serious injuries to its face and may possibly never survive in the wild after its escape. In this video, a bobcat has tackled a large deer and manages to keep it down. The deer tries to repel it, but the bobcat is determined and perseveres. A bobcat's diet consists primarily of rabbits and hares, but when prey is scarce or difficult to capture, adult male or large adult female bobcats will attack bedded, weak, or injured adult deer. Bobcats frequently hide prey that is too large to eat in one feeding, such as deer, and return to feed on it for an extended period. They cover their prey with leaves, bark, twigs, soil, snow, or whatever else is available. Bobcats bite away the hair to avoid eating it when feeding on a deer, and this discarded hair is frequently mixed with the debris that the cat drags over the kill to cover it or is left when blown around the carcass. Bobcats are impressive hunters for their size. You can see this bobcat hunt much larger prey as it manages to take down a deer in the deep snow. After making the kill, some men can be seen moving the dead buck back into the forest for some reason while the bobcat looks on. The kill was probably made on their property and they wanted to get the carcass out of there. At least, the cold was going to keep the carcass fresh for much longer. Had it been during the summer, things would have been more difficult. Bobcats are small, but they're vicious and you can see this bobcat go after a much larger animal in this video as it attacks a deer and both animals tumble down the mountain. Apparently, the man filming saw the deer escape and the bobcat was nowhere to be seen afterwards. Number 4. Coyote Hunts Possum The possum in this video appeared to be in trouble at times, but after about 40 minutes of playing dead, it stood up and walked away. When threatened, Possums do not actually play dead. They become unconscious and go into a catatonic state. Although many people think it's an admirable act, opossums are in tonic immobility or thanatosis and their bodies enter a catatonic state in response to fear, according to science. My question is, why does the coyote stop trying to kill it? If it thinks it's dead, why not just eat it? Opossums have no control over when they play dead or for how long they do it. 
The comatose-like state is an involuntary reaction triggered by stress, and in this case, it works because a coyote, after trying to fiddle with the dead-looking opossum, eventually abandoned it, which gave the opossum the opportunity to walk away unscathed. After hunting and killing an opossum, a coyote drops the animal on the ground and continues walking. Another coyote walks into the frame but doesn't pay attention to the dead opossum. Perhaps the two coyotes are looking for other game before they dig into the opossum. Number 3. Bear Hunts Fish Polar bears rely on ice to hunt, and as it disappears they are unable to reach their traditional prey. Because each arctic summer brings more water and less ice, some polar bears are forced to feed on seaweed, birds, and arctic char, a type of salmon, as they migrate upstream to spawn. Their ability to find food and learn new hunting techniques may be critical to their survival. While snorkeling in the river, the person filming encounters a few black bears along the banks. They're both looking for the same thing, salmon. Taking the proper safety measures for both him and the bears, the cameraman goes on a mission to film them as they score their wriggling meals and enjoy some fish for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This mama grizzly bear is fishing with her cubs, but it's understandable that she's doing most of the fishing, even though one of the cubs can be seen making a large catch on his own, but the fish almost gets away before the cubby grabs him again. It almost looks like this fish can breathe out of the water. I say this because it's been out of the water for quite some time and it's still giving the young cub a hard time. Number 2. Wolf Hunts Musk Ox Musk oxen males stand 5 feet at the shoulder and weigh a massive 800 pounds. Aside from polar bears, they are the largest animals that roam the arctic tundra, but even they are vulnerable to predators. A pack of arctic wolves catches the herd and defies it, but the musk oxen scramble to form a defensive ring. The adults equipped with long hooked horns are more than a match for the war, but it's not the adults the wolves are after. The herd panics and runs. It is a fatal mistake. Their lines are broken so they cannot protect their young. The wolves separate a calf from the rest of the herd, and the wolves make the kill. When two wolves manage to isolate a musk ox calf, the herd comes running to its rescue and chase the wolves away, forcing them to abandon the hunt. The musk oxen maintain their motto, one for all and all for one, and prove it in this video. The musk ox is huge and powerful and has a large coat to protect it, so when these four arctic wolves decide to attack this musk ox, they are in for a treat and the kind they expect. The musk ox fights like a beast and fends off all the attacks, even though the wolves are aggressive and don't let up. It takes some time, but the wolves eventually get the job done. Number 1. Jaguar Hunts Capybara Jaguars in the Pantanal in Brazil feed mainly on caimans and crocodiles, but they do catch capybaras from time to time. In this incredible video, the capybaras were just too close to the jaguar for her to resist, and she got her timing spot on. The capybara made a mad dash for the river, but ultimately came up short and despite an amazing effort, succumbed to the strength and sheer power of the jaguar. Two jaguar orphans team up to take down a capybara. The two cats jump into the water and chase the large rodent. After a little chasing around, the cats grab the rodent and drag him out of the water, prepping him for lunch. The capybara is a semi-aquatic animal that looks like a large guinea pig. Capybaras are the largest living rodents on the planet. Capybaras prefer densely forested areas near ponds, lakes, rivers, marshes, and swamps, making them vulnerable to anaconda, caiman, and jaguar attacks. There are some amazing hunts in these videos, but the one that stood out for me was the small bobcat jumping right in the face of that huge deer. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? And well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be a part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.